All right, we're doing a test. We're now messing around with our pulse settings. We have somehow figured out how to kill yet another camera. Sorry, not a camera, microphone set up. Uh, I think the receiver has given up the ghost on our, uh, on our wireless system. So we're gonna, we're going with a different microphone for a little bit. We can troubleshoot it some more. And uh, let's give this a shot. We're at 45, now I'm at 38. Uh, I'm trying, as you can see, I've stuck it a couple of times. I'm trying to keep this really close. What I'm trying to do is to get as colorless a weld as I can. And uh, I don't know, let's see. Thirty-four to thirty-five now, and with this pulse setting, when I initiate the arc, I am I am hammered down. I'm at. Uh, it looks like my pulse duty is 20, 20 something percent. pulse duty down to 10 just for this last little section. Now we have a pretty good difference here. see how our the size of our um, our bead has shrunk here we're getting purples and teals and blues now down here we're kind of oranges and yellows and now we're yellows to kind of pale yellows and now down there we got a little more color in it but our bead is much smaller on that so that was at that was at ten percent um, pulse duty. Probably just moved the camera. Sorry about that. You can see where we started out flatter and wider, and now we've got the heat affected zone is kind of way out here, 
and then here now we're starting to really pull it back in we don't have a lot of discoloration here along the edges and we do have a little bit down here uh, I'm not quite sure what's what the deal is there but there's so there's one two three four there's like five different little sections all in that one little area so we're going to uh, we're gonna flip this around let's give this a shot we are at 35 amps I am on the slow pulse settings uh, Pulse duty is probably, let's say, 15. Pulse frequency is maybe 12, is what it says, which may actually be like 2. We'll see. Um, 16 inch, 2% uh, thoriated or the red stripe tungsten. I'm on a number 12 cup on a large gas lens. I am. Probably 18 CFH. <clears throat> and arc length as close as I can get and only occasionally sticking it. That's interesting. So we're working really hard to get no color in our weld. <laughs> there's a bunch of there's a bunch of color in that one. Hmm. Herma herma herma. All right, we're back, and we're gonna do a bigger test now. Try to find out. Try to find out problems on little tiny, you know, two and three inch long pieces. And then to make sure we're dialed in all the way, we're gonna use some bigger pieces. Just acetone trying to get all the goo off. I guess we'll have to make some noise and get the welder fired up. Sorry about that. All right, we're gonna do something, you know, this is a test piece, so we're gonna test stuff. We're gonna test theories, we're gonna experiment a little bit. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this piece up into four different segments. I'm gonna weld here, skip a segment, weld it again, let it cool a bit, go back a section, weld it, and then finish up coming this way. We're gonna see what that does with our heat. We're gonna see what that does with our, <clears throat> our colors as well. It's just a great big experiment. And since I'm doing this, all of these are going to be on an outside corner. So I'm not, 
I'm not using ludicrously long stick outs. Let's get it on the pulse settings. Don't do that. Okay, I like that more gooder. So on that, we're moving along a lot faster. A lot is, you know, perhaps not, perhaps not the correct word, because we are certainly not blazing along here. We've moved all of two and a half inches on this, but we have taken the color out of this section. Now, we're gonna move down some, and what I'm gonna do, for this section here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab my tungsten out. I'm gonna keep all the other settings the same. We're gonna stick out 5 eighths of an inch. We're gonna see what that does to the color. We're gonna try to keep our um, we're gonna try to keep our arc length the same. Do that right, then our travel speed should be the same, and we'll see. Maybe the only thing changes is the color. I don't know. It's all the experiment. Now uh, let's write down what our setting was over there. Okay, this one, I've turned my, turned my pulse duty up to like 10.30 or 10 and a half, however you want to play it. And I'm only moving forward on the pulse uh, because that's the only time I'm getting a puddle. do that. So 
same settings. The only thing I've changed is my uh, Holtz duty. I am now at the 12 o'clock position. And we're gonna we're gonna weld this whole bead and see what that does. So there's our results, trying to find out where the best you know, angle of the dangle is so you can see colors, um, puddle length, pool length, and then the back, I got no crispies. All we're using is this, uh, this big piece of stainless as our backing bar, uh, our heat sink to pull a bunch of that stuff out. So yeah, that's not, that's not too bad. So if I had to make a choice, what would I do? I'd do that one. That is 38 amps. That is, uh, let's see, pulse frequency at the nine o'clock position that is pulse duty at the 12 o'clock position that is hammer down which means I just put the hammer down I don't let up and and I am just shy of three-eighths of an inch and that has given me this nice even kind of golden color um, but now here's the thing this is really not my decision um, because this is a we call this a spec job uh, I'm speculating that when I take this uh, they are going to purchase this um, so one of the reasons why I did this is I'm giving them I can give them color options on uh, what it is they you know how they want it to or once the pickling paste comes, it's probably going to be Monday or so, you know, three or four days from now. Um, then we'll also do a section and we'll, we'll take colors out of there um, just to show them this is what it's like. If it's, if it's actually, we'll probably do that on a different piece. We may do it on one of these pieces um, that we did yesterday. We may do it on one of these and just apply that pickling paste all over there and see if we can't just take all of the color out of that. Um, so we'll see. It's a test uh, of a work in progress that who knows, may never even see the light of day, but that's how you figure stuff out. Or at least that's how I do it. I sit down and I make a baseline and then I change it and then I make another test, change it, make another test, change it. Make sure that I write down all of my changes so that I can then go back and look and say, oh, this is what I did on this kind of material, on this thickness, using these techniques. That's, that's just me. I hope you found this episode educational or entertaining or maybe even both. You might want to check this one out as well. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell to be notified when new videos drop, and if you've got comments, make sure you put them down beneath the sermon notes. Thanks for hanging out with us here at the Rattlecan Fab Shop. Y'all have a good one. Cheers.